It has been another all-consuming week in the world of mountain biking. Mm -hmm, it has, and I've just come from a bog, Scotland, which it wasn't really boggy. It was sunny, and I got a suntan. And you got bites. And I got lots of bites, yeah. Great. But away from Scotland, we'll be talking about the Shimano E mountain bike experience, which we did last week in the Dolomites, and... Park Tool winners, apparently. Park Tool. People that have won tools. Lucky human beings, lucky. You're all talk, Blake, mm. and on today's show, there's gonna be a lot of talk. But first of all, you're gonna be thinking, who on earth is this character sat next to me? So, ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only, Blake Sampson. Yeah, from GMBN. He's from GMBN, he's the man, upside down, no hands, no feet. Yeah. The man on the, what was the video Game of E-Bike, Sam Pilgrim. Game Sam, of Pilgrim. Bike, Sam Pilgrim, yeah. yeah, that was a fun one. That was my first intro to e-biking. I'm surprised you got, I mean, that was a pretty full-on intro to e-biking. It was e pretty good fun, yeah. I kind of brought my dirt jump slope style thing to the e-bike thing, so. Yeah, you hey. seem to have a lot of your friends in the Surrey Hills. Yes. Uh, we actually, we had one of your friends, Ollie Wilkins, oh. down a few weeks ago. We've put a bulletproof vest on him. If you want to see that video, check it out on the channel very soon. Do you know what, I also saw uh, Brendan Fairclough at an e-bike race yes. a couple of weekends ago. Yeah, yeah, I spoke to him. I was out at uh, Fort William for the UCI right. Downhill World Cup. And I spoke to him briefly right. about it, right. and I was like, wow, he's actually going out came, came out of the woods. Yeah, he's, he's been, he's woods, been yeah. really down low on this for many, many months. Yeah. Yeah. And it must have done him well because he came 15th in qualifying. He right? did really well at the race, yeah. Congratulations yeah. on him. Also, Ben Deacon, he did ben that Deacon. race as his, well. His first he ever never e -bike rides e-bikes. But Blake, uh, I guess one of the big stories in the last few weeks is the fact that European Commission want uh, e-bikers to have insurance on their bikes. Ooh, okay. Throwing a bit of a spanner it's in the works. Definitely that. throwing a spanner in the works. Are the p speed police going to come out speed now? Speed police, yeah. I mean, how long before road bikers are going to be zapped to the exactly. same thing? And maybe downhill. Downhill. They're doing crazy speeds. Yeah, let us know your thoughts on this subject below. And we're going to be going into depth in this subject in one of the shows in future. Right, it's feedback time. And we've had a ton of questions in from you guys over the last few weeks. And I'm glad to say we've got our resident e-biker, Blake yes. Sampson, yep. on hand. I'm pretty good answer all the questions. Yeah, I'm gonna learn a few things actually from this. Wow. And I've got a question coming in from Je uh, Johnny Jetski. He says, what is the best motor for doing wheelies? Because he's tried 20 to 30 attempts and yeah. gives up, but yeah. he thinks the Yamaha motor is not got quite a bit of Blake, pedaling come on. lap. You, you did all those backflips on your yeah. bikes. So you rode a high bike with a Bosch motor. Yep. How did you get on? What mode did you ride on that bike? Well, I put it straight into turbo. <laughs> I put it straight into turbo because it's just going to get that front wheel kicked up straight do you know away. What? Do you know what? And that, Johnny, that is the answer to the question. It doesn't matter what motor you're riding on your e bike, you need to stick it into turbo so that it gets that front mm. wheel up. Because if you ride an eco, you've got all the weight of the e bike to deal with. So, yeah, that's the answer to your question. Just slam it in turn. Yeah, right? well, I'm going to try it on Eco and see if I can actually do it. Yeah. This is more a technical question from Peter Engelke. Uh, hello, guys. I'm going to need some assistance. Uh, he's got a Spark Sam 30 and um, he's 98 kilos. Wants to upgrade his fork. He's thinking about a Fox 34. Now, um, tricky one there, Peter. It depends on the speed you ride. Obviously, your weight is sort of around about my weight. I'd actually recommend something more of a, a Lyric or a 36. I would have preferred a 36, because, yeah. Because it can, it can deal with those hits, but to be honest with you, I actually rode a spa, I rode one of these bikes last week in the Dolomites, and I was surprised how capable it is, because if you've got 2.8 tires, they actually take quite a lot of the hits mm. from, the, from, from the ground anyway. Yeah, so. yeah, I ride a hardtail, it's a uh, new proof scout, and that's got plus size. And it, you can, it works a lot better than Blake, normal tires. you also ride fat bikes, so let's move on to the yeah. next question. <laughs> right, next question is Liam. He's only 11 years old, he's got a new high bike. He's from Golden, Colorado. Yeah. He's at Jefferson County Open Space. Ah, the story there, Jefferson County, so they've recently allowed Class 1 e-bike access. Okay, which is that's a great good news. Thing. Yeah, great news. So Class 1 is, uh, you've got a pedelex. Ah, what we ride. There you go. Wow, right, so next question. One. Right. That's a nice bike. It's though. great. I mean, that's great that the 11-year-old can go and shred around the hills yeah. in Colorado. Doing on the pavement, out yeah. on the trail. Ah, yeah. oh, it's pretty good. This one from Sam Taylor in the Lake District. Now, he's showing a picture of his son Will's Focus bike. And this came in as something for the bike follower. I think there's a mm. good story here. Um, 
Unfortunately, Will has got a muscle wasting condition called Duchelle muscular dystrophy. However, um, with the partnership between Focus Bikes, the Forestry, and also wheelbase cyclers in the Lake District. He's now got this e-bike and he's got permission to ride it on the trails and I think it's a great story of access and the fact that this young 11 year old can get out and enjoy the mountains. Yeah, get out and enjoy his bike. It's a pretty cool bike, isn't it? It's nice. Yeah, Bang on. I like it. As I mentioned earlier, it's been an all-consuming week in the world of mountain biking. Uh, we've been devouring the trails ourselves, flattening mm -hmm. all our batteries. <laughs> I hear that you did some e-biking in yes. Fort William, right? Yeah, yeah, I was on turbo mode. I <laughs> smashed the battery. We covered so much ground because right. we were scoping for areas to film yeah. for GMBN, Neil and I. And we rode everywhere. Smashed the battery. So, we covered so much ground. So, to tell me, Blake, now, now Fort William, Fort William Downhill Track, originally was a pile of rocks and yeah. roots on a bog. Today has become quite a largely manicured affair. Yes, yeah, a bit of a man-made track. What kind of trails were you riding in Scotland? We were we rode a red route. Um, funny enough, uh, yeah. Sh uh, Shimano Steps, Yeah, they had a demo track right. that we rode a little bit of, but there was a lot of off-piece stuff we did ride. Right. Well, yeah. funny you should talk about Shimano Steps. Uh, like you may, may, might have seen last week, I was on the Shimano E mountain bike experience. Uh, in northern Italy in the Dolomites and it was a four day event. It wasn't a race, it was simply an experience, an adventure through the South Tyrol. It was amazing. You must have covered so much ground. We did actually, uh, on we, four days. Day one we did 60 kilometers, we did 2,000 meters up, 2,700 meters down. Day how does that work out? So how did you get back out? Uh, because because we had a little bit of shuttle oh, in the morning. Okay, there you and there go, was yeah. a bit of a you know, there yeah. was a bit of a nice. uh, routine. We yeah. did a bit, a bit of shuttling in the yeah. morning, then we did a technical climb yeah. up to a pass at like I said, six thousand feet, two thousand meters. And then we spent all afternoon descending. That's not after a really tasty lunch in a mountain mm. hut. Beef you, stew, that would apple have, strudel. Yeah, oh stop it, stop <laughs> it. So not on one battery though. No, not on one battery. We, uh, you know, we pretty well. Some days we did use one battery, but lunchtime we were able to charge our batteries up after, you know, long yeah, coffees yeah. and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. Uh, but there was spare batteries. We had a support crew coming with us, so nice. nobody, no, nobody would be kind of left without. Yeah, yeah. There was also four, three different categories. So we had like a beginner category. Uh, there was a trail category, and there was an advanced category. So that each. Each route, each guide on every day kind of took us on different trails. Oh, so really? there was nice. something there for Super everybody. Lucky, yeah. It was nice, it was really nice. How many bikes uh, did you ride? Uh, yeah, well that was another part of yeah. the experience. Uh, there was nine brands there and um, you could sign up to ride whatever bike you wanted. Oh. Whatever color, whatever travel. Honestly, whatever wheel size. So I rode, we rode about 10 different bikes and um, that was, yeah, it was, a, it was an incredible Looking experience. Looking forward to seeing the videos. Yeah, and that. it's coming out very soon on the EMBN channel. Oh, as we roll into tech, yeah. Blake Sampson, <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> Do you know what? I don't have any tech on e-bikes. Do you know what? Honest. Do you know what? I actually bumped in to the main man behind the Shimano step system last week. Oh no, that is interesting. It is, and I, this is going to be a big part of tech. Yeah. Week, but not this week, we're going to oh. save it till next week. And it's not all about the big dogs. Uh, this is a good little feature we had in from Roland Ringling in Germany. <laughs> Uh, he's put a. He's basically customised his Scott Genius and put a bigger fork in it to slacken the head angle. Oh yeah. And I really like stories like this. And I'd like to see more uh, customization of e-bikes from you guys coming into the show. Um, do you know what, Blake? Roland's uh, customised bike actually answers Peter's question from earlier about mm. putting a bigger fork on his e-bike. Yeah. Now, he's slacking it out. He's got you know 160 fork on there. 160. Uh, some other nice bits. Four pop brakes, he's got 40 mil Hasselfeld stem, Espacio Libre RDO saddle. Oh, he's got all, he's made that super aggressive. He's made it super aggressive. Yeah, he wants to go and ride that thing fast. I like his style. Uh, send us in your customized e-bikes, we want to see them. Also, we've got a bit of tech coming in from Stickman too. Ah, Tell Stick me about Man. that. Yeah, well, you know what, it's not all about, it's, you know, sometimes there's a lot of industry people mm. who want to get involved in the EMBN show. This is from Stickman at Troy Lee Design. Now he's recently got a Focus Jam bike and mm. he last weekend he did 4,500 feet of climbing. Mm. Southern California. Wow. And he just sneaks in his new Troy Lee helmet which is coming out in the next few weeks. Uh, Blake, what you talked about earlier. Yes, Park Tool winners. <laughs> Park Tool winners. The lucky, indeed. lucky human beings that have won some amazing tools. And there's quite a few of them as well. Oh, yeah. sheesh. Sam Snook, David Nadeau, Dermot Parks, Andrew Fowler, Kyriakos, 
Theo Haros. Wow. This Brian Dicker, Gary Burke, David Draper, Hugh By Laszlo, and Vicken Varitainen. And my name wasn't in there. Thanks, Tom. Yeah. Who's, who's Cheers Tom? He's a guy who does all of that. Okay. He does Great. all that. Well so, done. Yeah. So keep an eye out on your email because you'll be getting one of those emails coming through for all your details so we can send you out all these gifts. And get talked up. <laughs> yes. It's time for Climb of the Week. Mm, okay. But, but before we get into that, I just want to point out the next few sections of the show are heavily Scandinavian. Right. Yeah. Anyway, this is from Jan Olav Nilsson, who says, this is probably not the most technical climb of the week, but I guess the most beautiful scenery. It's from Aura by the co in the coast of mm. Norway. Some I nice love trip. Aura. Some Walker Sisters parts, but mm. super slick tech rock there. Wow. Amazing. Walker Sisters, so that is when you push a button and Absolutely. you let your bike walk. Okay. But the great thing about Norway, especially at this part time of the year, is that it's light all night long. Oh, of course, so you got endless amount of riding light. A bit like what's going on with that guy. At which point, let's go straight into where in the world. Now, last week, Blake, you were in Fort William. I was, yeah. You were. So mm. You had a good time. People, I loved it. People must have bought you loads of drinks. Uh, yeah, we got some water. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a subject. Yeah. You don't uh, want to go into it. No, I don't want to go into it. I did a lot of riding. We rode some e-bikes. Mr. Neil Donahue and I rode in. He just doesn't want to talk about it. Hey, no. Listen, so you were in Fort William. Now, across the Irish Sea, I think it's across the Irish Sea, in Norway, Oof. we've had these amazing images in from Stan Vigo Nielsen. Now, oh, wow. I mean, what was the light like up in Fort William last week? Light to 11 Actually, o'clock? Yeah, 11 o'clock, but it didn't go super dark. You could right. just see a glimpse of light. Yeah. So it didn't go real As you were dark. walking out of the bar at one o'clock in the morning? Yes, it was still a bit light, yeah. <laughs> hey, but look, this is in Tromso, northern Norway. Have oh, you man. ever seen such amazing e-bike that? locations? That's at uh, almost midnight in Mid Norway. That is, I mean, can you imagine e-bike in 24 hours a day? Oh, That's, man. Wow. Yeah. You're going to need a lot of batteries for that. Stein, thanks so much for sending those photographs in. Uh, we want to see more of your uh, where in the world shots uh, to get this global feeling. Wow, that is very exciting. I don't think you can beat that. Yeah. If they do, send them in. Right, let's dive into Ghetto Tech. Ghetto Tech. Can, Sounds good. Can I, before we start, can yeah. I ask, ask you, what was your favorite bit of tech from Fort William last week? Oh, um, mm, I do like the new Santa Cruz. Yeah? The new Santa Cruz downhill bike. I like the color, yeah. uh, looks good, it's yeah. a little bit different. Mm -hmm. But the comments are to take the, uh, it did, didn't the it? cherry it was did, the 29er. Hey, so look, meanwhile, you're in Fort William. I was in the Dolomite Mountains and yes. I had the great uh, opportunity to ride with 2010 World Cross Country Champion Jose Antonio Hermida. Wow! I tell you what, I've ridden with a lot of fast riders. This guy <laughs> down a mountain is an absolute lunatic. The well, he's an XC rider. Honestly, he was so, so fast. But anyway, wow. the story here is he comes up with some great trail etiquette for whilst you're in the mountains and he had this cowbell and uh, this is him talking us through it. Oh. What a legend. Jose, Tech of the Week, how do people know you are arriving in the mountains? Tell me, Jose, this is my star name. <laughs> when I go in the trails, I go full gas, but when they are pedestrians and they, I don't want that they get stressed about me, I open my belt and... And some they think it's me, and some they think I bring a dog. <laughs> so this is my tuck. And then I close it and continue. And open. Jose Hermida. Blake, it's Bike Vault. Oh, I love Bike Vault. I love Bike Vault. I like too. the Bike Vault. I want to see your GMBN rules and regulations. Right. I mean, I, actually, I don't want to see your GMBN rules. No, this is the MBN. This has got the, you've got your own Martin rules. Because Martin's brought it over. Yeah. Only well, causing some and um, causing some unrest amongst all the EMBN the, fans. Should we dive into that EMBN bike? Let's bike? dive in. Let's dive in. First, oh, oh, I hope oh. your Welsh accent's good because first of all, this whose was, bike is that? Who's, bike? Who's, who calls that jacket? Yeah. This is from Adam in Ronda. I can't. I mean, I can't believe I just said that. Wow, that's nice though. Swiftly moving on to the e crafty. That is, I like it. That is, I like it. Yeah. I like how he's matched his pedals with his calipers. And oh, his... That is a nice touch, isn't it? Yeah. And the mudguard's cool. Good Mud tires on mm -hmm. there. Super nice. Super, Super nice, nice, Adam. Super nice, Adam. Diolchen Oh. Uh, this is from Alan Harasta in Novo Mesto, Slovenia. I've ridden in Slovenia. You've ridden everywhere. I've ridden a downhill race, my first downhill race. Really? Yeah. How did you get on? Did really well. 
So modest, isn't he? So modest. Moving on to that the That was bike. nice. It was nice. Yeah. As we swiftly moved on to Chris Baumgarten in Kelowna in British Columbia. No, that is. Look at that background. Look oh at my that. God. Oh my goodness me. Mm. I like the forks matches. Yeah, I, I do. It's like, it's kind of sweet color, this bike. Yeah. It's a genius. I like the reds and the whites. I reckon it's a nice color scheme, that. Nice. I, I, super nice. I, I think a super nice. Super one. nice, yes. yes. Martin would be pulling his yeah. hair out. Oh, Chris Newton. Look at that giant. I mean, do you know what? There's a lot. There's a lot of color coordination so far this week, isn't there? Yeah, grips, saddle. I think you know, paint rims, work. Paint work. Reflectors. It's got some nice stick. What do you think of those tires? Uh, they're probably a bit low on grip if you're in super tech, but yeah. you know, if you're on along a towpath or a river or a it's, reservoir like yeah, uh, yeah. Chris's, I think they'd be fine. It's nice. Nice, it's nice. It's nice. It's nice. Oh boy. Oh wow. Garth Schmeck on a Pedego Elevit at the top, top of South Whiskey Town National Park, California. Well, for this, you get a super nice for Whiskey Town. Whiskey Town, I've yeah. just come yeah. from Scotland, whiskey <laughs> sounds good to me. Looks pretty green for California. Yeah, it's it? really nice, eh? And like. do you know what? A Pedago Elevator, I've not really heard of that very right often. Right. So just, what did we say? Super I nice. This is super nice. Super nice. Super nice. <laughs> no messing around with Blake Sampson. Oh. Uh, keep going. Yeah, look uh, at that. Carl Bird, you Peaks, know, Manchester. Orange, but orange Alpine. And it is orange. It is orange. So he's ma they match the name of the brand. Mm -hmm. Orange nice. pedals. Orange pedals. Mm -hmm. uh, a bit of orange in the mudguard. Uh, mudguard has got some orange. I saw one of these up in Scotland. Mm -hmm. God, you didn't have gone over Scotland, yeah. Yeah, well, it's really nice up there. Half Scottish. That's right? nice. That's nice. Oh my God. Michael oh, wow. Stoppel in Austria. Nikolai. Nikolai. I've not seen one of them. <sighs> Look at that. That's beautiful. He's in the snow. It is beautiful, isn't it? I reckon he's on turbo mode for the snow just to get that wheel spinning in the snow. I'm going to give that a super, super nice. nice. Super nice for sure. <laughs> oh, Peter Evanson in Denmark. That's nice. You, nice. I reckon he can cycle across that. It's nice. It's nice. It's nice. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> this one is from Simon Kenyon. Now, Simon gave me a bit of bollocking because this is his third attempt at putting this bike in the vault. What? Well, it's all right, it should be in there. Look at yeah, it. It's, it's a custom track power fly. That's a hell of a paint job, is it? All these stickers. Oh, stickers, like yeah. sticker bomb. I'm it? into it. I like it. Yeah, super nice. Super nice. Yeah. Easy as that. Oh, Tim Mackersy in Devon. Devon. Oh, beautiful. English. Is that what Devon looks like? What a beautiful English summertime shot. Yeah. That's super nice. Okay. That's super nice. And that's the vault. Oh, uh, what? I wanted to see more of that. Oh, sorry. Can have to come back next week, Blake, for more Bike Vault and EMBN show yes. action. Blake, so been so good having you on oh, the show this it's week. It's been super interesting. Can't wait to have you back. Yeah, actually. I yeah. actually want to get back on an e-bike. I really want to go and ride more e-bikes. We should do. We, we should, should do a feature. Do you know what? There's a few features which you need to check out on the channel, which uh, you, if you have not already done so, check them out. There's a run on power to weight, which proves that you might actually be able to eat pies and get away with it on an evening. Oh, okay. That's dangerous. Yeah, yeah. That's dangerous. Well, keep keep your eye out on the channel because there's a lot more content coming out. If you want to see another video where it's Game of E-Bike with Sam Pilgrim and I, click over there. And if you see more of Blake Sampson, don't forget to let us know in the comments below. Give it a thumb up, like, and we'll see you the next show. Bye-bye.